So okay, in my last video, you could see some run testing with my PWM module. Um, I only wanted to add um, some fuels of the multimeter uh, of the volts where I'm running on uh, now. Um, at this speed, it's running on like plus minus seven or eight volts. And the line of my scope is then like this. And uh, I can turn uh, the button so you can see more the wave, but I will keep it like this because then you can uh, really see um, yeah, how far I'm going. Um, yeah, I will show you first this. And then I, later I will give you a screenshot of my multimeter. So there we go. This is touch and air. This is like 8 volts. And I will now bring it up to 20. Then... 11. Now running on 12. 15 This is 20 volts And here you can see clearly the back spikes This is uh, not new for me, this is very known if I don't connect any battery uh, to charge or capacitor to charge, then you will see them off screen. I can higher the brightness a bit, lower down this, and you will still see that it goes off screen. And again, this is on 19 volts. I will increase the speed. I'm now going to 30 volts. And I didn't uh, move this one, eh? so this is still from the flat line where we started. We are now running on 30 volts. And as you can see, we have a really a nice speed here. Okay. I will go back to stationaire. Neonis. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you what my mouth needs to do when I increase the failure. This is the voltage that is now on the moment on this capacitor that goes onto my head. See it runs very nice, very smooth. The output this one I can normally connect another capacitor to and to charge it. But it runs very, very smooth. And it accelerates perfect.
Just like a little one cylinder engine. Okay, that is what I wanted to show of the scope and the multimeter. And for everybody, good luck building and let's change the world. <laughs>